Hello guys, what's up? SW here, and today we're going to talk about Ouija Pie again, which honestly guys, I, I seriously hope think um, uh, there's other folks out there making uh, exposés about Ouija Pie because I feel like uh, I'm the only one doing this, and I feel like I'm doing this uh like milking it which i i don't I, w I was just spreading awareness to be honest but but also i just wish other creators talked about this whatever you but in this this case this case um basically uh we're talking about ouija pie and his scummy behavior which of course uh his you know stealing other people's stuff and selling them on patreon yeah and especially, in, that includes SMG4 Glitch Productions as well. So, but you all saw the title. I should say, SMG4 and Glitch, or Glitch Productions should sue Ouija Pie. For rightfully so. Mm -hmm. And especially, especially I wish, I've been thinking about this for a while now. Especially because, uh, you, like, Ouija Pie is, despite... He he's been exposed and and many of it if his former colleagues, friends, what have you, left him and they all know the truth, what have you, and we all saw the pathetic excuse of a Paul uh de a debunk vid that he made, which that doesn't help much at all. And he still continues continue to continue on um praying minors. Yeah, as of right now, yeah. And but here's the thing, um and what I do wish is Ouija Pie to stop using Tari because <laughs> Tari is not his character, okay? And he, he doesn't deserve the right to use Tari at all. Hmm. So, yeah, as you know, um, you know, you all remember Tari, the Tari model was redesigned, you know? That was a good time, especially um, during that same time, Ouija Pie redesigned it. Well,. Kept kept the whole aspect of the old Tari model. It only changed the pants to make it look like from the new model, which yeah, I can see that. But it's actually it's actually it's actually made out of spite because I did hear people talking about that Ouija Pie doing that, like uh, say to say that he he hates the new Tari model, and I mean I I shan't be surprised anyways because. I, I I already knew that Ouija Pie still despises um, SMG4 because ba if you if you read his channel description, that he he his channel is basically what like does what does SMG4 does since 2017. So yeah, but that, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Okay, so I was overall I was looking through any more new information about Ouija Pie. I came across a a new a new um, case scenario, which of course um, you see right here. It is by Real Super Real Super G six six four. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. But and it, it says here, Ouija Pie was selling and Nintendo sixty four ROM files, custom assets such as maps that were made by other people, music as well as private files straight from Glitch Productions, while he was still working for them, all for a hundred twenty dollars on Patreon. Words cannot describe how much of a piece of scum he is. Yeah, I can see that. So he, so super quote tweet a, a post which is Ouija Pie Lu Lucas hater. Um, basically, it takes you to the Google Drive, which is displayed right here. As you can see, this is all Ouija Pie's OneDrive. And as we can read read this text right here, it says, All this is actually Ouija Pie's crap, from his Super Mario 64 stuff to Gma stuff and other crap. Unfortunately, this is not everything. But I, I do have all the important stuff from Super Mario 64 and Gma. Only stuff I could not get were two folders called actual one uploaded the awesome mario repab and videos which was 80 gigabytes worth of video resources i was unable to archive all of the music folder was like 80 gigabytes too so no surprise there and source code folder but it was only the desk fest fest it's a desktop desktop crack couldn't get his project 64 and all m64 mm builds are fine and complete so yeah 
and basically a nice love letter to Lucas. <laughs> if you've discovered this, <laughs> go F yourself, you sick F. You can deny the allegations all you or fake all you want, but you know damn well they're true and can't de deny forever. So, also fun fact, to get his stuff, you need to give a pedophile $120 via his Patreon. Oh boy, so he literally, so Ouija Pai, okay, so Ouija Pai literally, okay, so Ouija Pai ha literally has this tons of files right here. So, I looked through into them and holy crap, there's a lot. So, we can go to Blender, there's like a few of them, which I can't ask us to do because I don't have a program that will help. So in the source codes here so basically you can check those um and super mario 64 stuff yep you can see um and there's the music i, I don't know why why in the actual hell you want to sell music and also there's sg4 music as well uh basically from everything uh sg4 used in music but why why would you buy <laughs> like it's it's very baffling to me like um just for the love of god like wh why does he want to sell these for 120 dollars for patreon like <laughs> that's literally loser's behavior like he like which if i literally thinks he made those <laughs> like he he legit made those <laughs> like unironically <laughs> like <laughs> I I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't guys like I'm sorry Ouija Pai or AK Lucas is such a loser for over this and holy crap you can see oh my goodness gracious all the music everything in this all all that all of this for a hundred twenty dollars bro like I can even, dude. I wouldn't. I would not even dare. Dare selling music and stuff and stuff like you can download easily on the internet. <laughs> like, why do you think this is a good idea? And also, what and why? What are the Falling Italians too? The twenty eighteen one. He's selling that too. Yeah, um, as we know, guys, here's a file of Wolfie 2018, and which is, which is the, I don't know, I don't know what's the thought, I don't know what was the thought process of this, so, I'm pretty sure it is, it is the trailer from back in 2018 of War of the Valley Tannis 2018, so, let me get this straight, yeah, this is, this is, this is the trailer, this is legit the trailer if I, it, like I remember correctly, like, like, why that? So, so is it? I mean, yeah, Ouija Pi did did work with uh, SNG four before. So basically, I'm pretty sure this trailer. I think I think Ouija Pi made made that. I suppose, but like, but why you want to sell though? Sell that for hundred twenty dollars? Where people was had literally, literally access for free on youtube yeah the trailer is still on youtube you could check that out so like what 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 is the what is the thought process over this what like <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me like i'm i'm, I'm legit <laughs> flabbergasted all over this shit and <laughs> So and basically, and there's this one. Um, basic. It looks like uh, a drawing of the Mushroom Kingdom one. Uh, this one. So we got the drawings here and there. So I'm pretty sure it's made by someone else, I suppose. But I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure Ouija did not make this at all. I, which of course. Um, I, I I'm I'm I, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But if anyone wants to correct me, go ahead. But but seriously, this is this is just legit scummy behavior as like of all hell. Like this, there's no way this is. I don't I don't believe this is legal at all. Which I which I definitely did say that. Um, 
that SSG4 and Glitch Rush should sue Ouija Pie at this point. Uh, they, they should really do because, um, once again, uh, again, when I said earlier about the Tari model, the old one, that he that he has he's he has no every he's not he does not have any right to use that anymore because you guys see he's re legit uh problematic though but also since this um this new uh allegations uh the the, the new spicy stuff about him selling 120 dollars on patreon for all this that's that's very illegal to to do and as you know uh, let me check on patreon i'm pretty so i would i checking on ouija pie's patreon here so a uh, hunt so yeah so we can see him ouija pie's patreon page um there's the one dollar tier two dollar tier uh three dollar tier popular one of course uh eleven dollar tier which is your name at the end of the videos okay and the meme tier which is sixty nine dollars Huh, sixty nine for a meme tier for that, and nice funny tier. That's it. Like, what is this? What does the sixty nine nine dollar per month tier having having previous? It says all previous awards, and that's it. But but is it like a hundred twenty dollars or sixty nine? Because I'm pretty sure. Um, did did Ouija Pie like literally change that? Or I'm pretty sure the the leak stuff of the files happened uh, after it, and uh, the tier was changed before that. But still, sixty nine dollar per month for that. That's still uh, pretty scummy to do. It, it because since he Ouija Pie does sell sell everybody else's work, especially as a G four glitch production stuff. To to think that he he. He's the one who did it all by himself, which, as it confirms, it is not true at all. Which, of course, uh, Ouija Pie's former friends confirmed that. It really, it really blows my mind to see how how Ouija Pie becoming becoming more of a loser every single day. So I was reading the comics that it says this one user says in the original version it was also include in SNG 4's entire saves roms and project 64 folder although it was removed in the leaked version <laughs> what the hell <laughs> really bro <laughs> so and and th this is user is that uh checked his patreon and the tier is still up there also i imagine he say something on the lines of no they're lying when it was has his own personal builds even a blender file for a thumbnail is in it. Like, how else did they get that? Come on. So, yeah. And there's the original screenshot of the Luigi's Patreon. So, I'm pr um, pretty sure it's um $120 per month. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's like the, the difference of the, you know, diff different currency you might have you. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's that. So, um... The the currency uh, I showed you guys is the U.S. currency. Well, the one hundred twenty dollars is probably is probably the currency of France, since which by A.K. Lucas lives in France. So yeah, and uh, and this this user I'm looking through is a different currency, which is cost one hundred eleven dollars fifty cents AU, which I don't know what AU means. So. I feel, I'm pretty sure it's a different country. So basically, it's currency AU. Um. Oh, it says a one a oh Australian. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, AU. So it's Australian currency. There you go. I, I got confused. I <laughs> yeah. So that that's Australian currency. So the sixty nine dollar is pretty much the U S currency there. So. But still, uh, I mean, yeah, but it's still scummy, mind you. It is still scummy. Like, once again, Ouija Pie is selling, selling files that isn't his at all. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, pretty much, he, 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 that is that is legit, a, a, a legal thing to do. So, that's 
So that's why I say that SMG4 slash Glitch Productions should sue Ouija Pie. They, they should do that. I, I wish. Even even my my friends saying that they that Ouija Pie should get sued. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Or if he... if Or it's other than sue, he should literally just take it down. Everything down. And if if, if he refuses to comply, then... Yeah, there there could be legal trouble. So sue. Yep. So I don't know I don't know what to expect, but well again oh the overall the videos talk about talk about Ouija Pie illegally selling stuff that isn't his on Patreon. So yeah. But anyways guys, that's all I had to say for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sub like a comment. As always, I'll see you next time. My next bits. Peace out.